make sure the switch is on the on position and it is plugged in to the power outlet. Make sure that the autoclave is emptied out. It should be clean of all residue. Lightly close the door. Do not tighten full way. Go over to the on button and turn it on. The power light will come on. Move the knob to fill water. It should click. This is the reservoir where you will put the distilled water. Reference the side column where it lists the amount of water that should go into the autoclave. Other information is also listed there. Add 450 milliliters of distilled water. We pour the water into the reservoir after measuring it. We will remeasure it because the cylinder only held 200 milliliters. It's 200 milliliters. Once again, pour it into the reservoir. It is now filled with 450 ml. Now close the reservoir. Place hollow objects like beakers downward. Open the autoclave to place the tray within the autoclave. Take the tray and place it in one of the slots. Close the door, taking the knob and tightening it. Make sure that it is fully tight. Move the bottom knob to sterilize. Refer to page 27 for temperature and time. As you can see, unwrapped instruments such as glass, so our beaker, will be in there for 273 and for 21 minutes. Turn the knob to 21 minutes and the temperature knob to 273 and make sure that your heat light is on. 21 minutes later. The timer has reached zero. Turn the last knob to exhaust dry. Make sure the pressure gauge shows that the white line is at zero. Open your autoclave, and if this is what you receive, redo the exhaust dry. You have done something incorrectly. Take the clamp and open your autoclave. This is what your autoclave should look like, dry. Now take it and carefully remove the tray. It should be very hot. Put it on a counter that is heat resistant. The inside of the autoclave will still be hot, so do not clean right away. Once it has cooled, you can clean it with a paper towel. Just wipe down the front and the inside. Now close the autoclave, but before you close it, 
turn your knob to zero, all of them. Make sure all the lights are off except for the power light, which will turn off once we turn off the autoclave. Now turn it off by switching it off. The light should go off. Pull out the plug so that you don't electrocute yourself. This is the tube you will be using to empty out the reservoir that we filled earlier from any old water. Everything has cooled down. Now plug the tube into the hole. You will loosen the nut that is above it. You're going to take an empty bucket, any will do, and place your tube inside. This is where the water will dispense. There will be less water than when you started. Make sure that all water has come out. Loosen the nut a little longer to see if there's any water left. Pull it out, a little water may drip. Simply take a paper towel and clean it off. And close the nut so no other water can drip. Close the autoclave, tightly moving the knob. Make sure the reservoir is empty and record all your readings in the manual. Replace all trays and equipment, the cleaners, the clamps, the tubes, even the manuals on top of the autoclave so the next group can use them. Close the door. And that is the autoclave.